The dedication of the Junior Defender fans was really, it was, it was, out, it was really beyond belief. These guys weren't, weren't just fans, they were groupies. I mean, everybody just gathered together, drop everything right after the Donnie Marie show, Wednesday nights, jump on the TV and watch it. I mean, you know, like we were the monkeys were to the 60s, the Junior Defenders were to the 70s. Psychic Girl was, was definitely a tremendous role model because she wasn't afraid to stand out in a crowd. You know, Radar Kid was definitely my favorite junior defender. He was so cool. It's like, he's just a workaday kid, you know. I really loved that about him, most of all, because it's like you really got the feeling he didn't want to be a superhero. All he wanted to do was to go get his job. It was like, it's like really appealing that way, you know, like it wasn't, superhero wasn't a big thing about him. That's what I really liked about him. I think he has changed the way television shows are made. I think he's a true visionary. I really enjoyed working with Norman Niels. He's a lot of fun. He's got a lot of energy, great ideas. He's, he's killer. I mean, the whole reason why the Junior Defenders got back on the air was because of him. I think Norman Niels is a genius. He's one of the most creative producers the television industry has ever seen.